Uncle Bob's Cigar Box Guitar, coming up next. Box. <laughs> So the wood doesn't get in. We're building Bob's guitar out of a brick house cigar box. Maple neck. I already glued the headstock. What you do is you cut a wedge off and then glue it on the back side and then you end up with a nice neck angle. You need that neck angle to create some tension coming off the nut. It helps with uh, getting a good tone. And I have a mahogany uh, fingerboard. We'll get the box notched out. And then we'll cut the board to the right length. We'll round the back of the neck. Just a nice rounded so that yep, it has a good feel. And that's coming up. The first thing we got to do is get the box notched as well as the top of the fingerboard notched just enough so when it sits, when you glue it to the top, then it's flush with the top of the box. Now I need to know where it's going to cross. So I want my bridge, let's see, it's a 20, 23 inch scale coming off the nut. So 23, that's where I want my bridge. You know, I kind of want the, the bridge to go here. Right about there. I can roughly mark the back side and just to be sure I measure it's eight and a quarter and eight and a quarter then I'll make sure this is square and measure again eight and a quarter ah. <laughs> You don't want to cut the wrong side. Okay, that's the side we want to cut. And it's going to be this deep. I'll just set the table saw to be this height and then just run it through. And get that all notched out. Oh, I had to turn the AC on. A little noise in the background. Now we'll mark a center point so we can notch this little lip here. It's okay if it goes a little deeper because this is below the, the ledge of the box. There it goes. Okay, now we got this block cut out. This one too. And here we go. Let's go see if it fits in the box. Let's get, get any leftover chunks. Yeah, there we go.
So Uncle Bob's cigar box neck is 30, it's 33 inches long and it's a one by two which is like three quarters by one and a half a piece of maple. Shape the back so it's a little more guitar like instead of just a, a square box square box like most cigar boxes we want to give it a little more style I'll use my spoke shave I'm gonna leave the heel section where it crosses the box I'm not gonna taper that so much so I marked it and I'm just gonna scrape until I get to my pencil marks Use this real raspy wood wood rasp. I guess that's why they call it rasp. Because it's raspy. Takes a lot of material off. The finer tooth, four in hand. Take out some of the deep scratches. I'm just gonna put that somewhere in the right neighborhood. And that fits. And now we have Brickhouse guitar neck. We're very close. That that part fitting it into the lid sometimes is, and you know shaping the neck is about the thing that takes the most time. Uh, before we glue this in, I'm gonna give this another final sanding to get all the scratches out. Yeah, we'll have it overlap very guitar like so we're 23 inches 23 inch scale right there right about halfway between here and the circle so yeah that's where your bridge goes and this should be dialed in really nicely after we get this glued up yeah it'll take some final shaping too because after you glue this this edge here you want to make sure and uh, you know, shape that down so it's a nice transition. Ooh, very exciting. Let's quit talking about it and glue it up. Put this in place with a clip. There we go. Cut that off square. Getting ready to glue it. Got my paper towel handy for wiping out the squeeze out. Clamps are sitting over here ready to go. Here's my fretboard. I choose the side I like this side to show. And double check my scale. Before we glue 23 inches from the end of the, from the edge of the net to about the middle of the box between the circle and the border. There we go. I try to get the get the net a little farther up from the tail. You get you get more tone that way. It, it makes it just a bit louder. Okay. It's glue.
this one, I have this little magnet on it. I'm gonna open up a little farther so I can get in there. This one, that way I could see the squeeze out and get it off of there. Push that in so you don't glue it to the board. Okay, now I'll give that a little squeeze. Get good contact, and then we can clean the glue off. Put a nice edge. Okay, overnighter, let it dry. And the top smooth. And you have other excess glue coming off of there. So now we're gonna cut uh, for the for the nut just slightly down and then we'll chisel it out but we'll cut a, a notch not too deep on Uncle Bob's cigar box guitar we're gonna uh, do the wood burning design on the neck I sketched some uh, ideas you know from various like Victorian steampunk designs and uh, on the swirls, I put indicators for the uh, fret markers. First, third, fifth, seventh, tenth, twelfth, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So they all are in indicated just like a regular guitar. So let's take a look at how we wood burn our design onto the neck. going to use these little string ends really out of focus these little string ends as an eyelet so the wood doesn't get gnawed over time if you just drill holes and put the strings in there it'll kind of like just work its way in this gives it a nice finish so we just drill it just enough to set those in there and I found of course you're going to have tons of these around when you change lots of strings. So we save our old strings and I reuse these little guys.
we're going to glue this bridge down. So now I know where the position is. Keep checking the measurements. That looks good. Center it on the edges. Well, you actually want to be more centered with the neck because I may not be that perfect. Use a pencil mark to see where the edge of the fretboard is. Yeah, yeah, you can see those pencil marks. This actually looks really good. We are going to commit this bridge plate and glue it on there. But before I do that, let me make sure I get those scoops. I'm going to take my knife, hello knife, and score this. Some of the paint. That way I'll get a good bond with the glue. Nothing like a guitar coming apart because the glue wasn't stuck. And I just cross it. Uh, cross hatch it. Cross hatch. This is actually kind of, I didn't really plan on doing this on, but it seemed like the right thing to do to be more guitar-like so I can really install that piezo correctly. The piezo has to go under the saddle in the, in the bridge saddle block there. Now you can see some of the wood showing through. And I'll hit it with a chisel real quick to scrape some of that other stuff off. Yeah, I'm not, I don't want to gouge, but I do want to get most of that paint. So you can scrape. Yeah, that works pretty good. I'm just going to scrape it. Just gonna brush it off. I'm not gonna blow this stuff all over the place. In fact, you gotta. I get this cheap little, cheap little paintbrush. Just brush that off. And vacuum this up later. Yeah, let's get right to those edges. Magnet inside the the block, and then that holds it holds it on there so it'll mar up the surface. Do a little test fit. Yeah, because I want to be a little closer to to crank it down. Otherwise, you're messing around. So that that's gonna go nicely. I back it off enough to get it out of there.
we got the bridge glued on. <laughs> got the bridge glued on. So we'll do a little clean up around the around the bridge. So now what we need to do is drill the hole again for that piezo rod for the pickup to go through. And then get, get our channel carved so we can set the bridge, set the saddle. Throw a piece of tape over the top, so less chance of it splintering out. There we go. Okay, now we got a spot for the bridge. We'll pick up that vibration with that piezo rod. Now we gotta double check our scale. So here's the 12th fret. This is halfway between halfway between the nut and the saddle. So I put a piece of tape and mark it at the 12th fret. I'm gonna take the end of my ruler, line it up with the 12th fret, and then put a mark where my saddle should be. And since it's a three stringer, we don't really have to put in compensation. And it's a shorter scale than most acoustics. It's a 25 inch scale. Put a mark right there. Double check our measurements. Double, triple. Measure, measure, measure. Then commit. Okay, so there's the spot for my saddle. Now we'll get this off and crown it so it has a nice peak and then we'll, we can still lower the action a bit so there's room to improve. I'm just going to run this at an angle and put a crown on this guy. Notch that a little more. Yeah. Slides out of there. Uh, this is the 
Okay, the Brick House Cigar Box Guitar. This time I put a Fishman pickup on it. I don't know if we can see this. I'm going to test. It's a night bolt. So here's unplugged. Now we'll plug it in. Ooh, let's turn it down. First.
it is, the Brick House Cigar Box Guitar. Uh, with a Fishman pickup, a maple neck, and walnut fingerboard. And ready to go. So when you get this guitar out of the box, the strings are going to be real loose. Just tune it. Okay, just like a guitar. D. G. They'll settle in. And B. And that's it. Before we go, we're going to take the battery out. That's it. I'll wrap that up, put it in the box. Okay, so we have... Usually when you get a guitar from the Anchor Mushroom, you get a little, a little kit. Here's a pick holder. With some hand punch picks from various plastics around the shop. This Stella makes these pick holders. You can put this on your uh, strap button on your acoustic or electric guitar. This little pouch she makes. A fresh 9 volt battery for that preamp. A, a brass slide. Zip it up. Put it in the box. Thanks for watching the building of Uncle Bob's Cigar Box Guitar. This literally wraps it up as we get this thing <laughs> wrapped up and shipping out. Now we have guitars in almost every corner of America. Uh, this, is, this one's going to the Great Northwest. Washington State, and then I have some in California, I have a guitar in Texas, I think I sent a wine box based somewhere in the Midwest, and then uh, a steampunk electric went out to New Hampshire, so I just need like Florida or Louisiana or something in that corner, and we'll uh, I'll have wrapped up, and then I gotta go to Hawaii and Alaska to really cover it, and as I ramble on, I appreciate you guys watching this stuff, and we'll build some more guitars, and thanks a lot.